This is Housework Paintings by MacArthur Binion. Get an overview of the gallery. I was at the reception, but I didn't video then because it was crowded and uh, these are more introspective. The detailing in the darker areas. Images and documents that have a kind of um, autobiographical flavor to them, which I'm drawn to. Small works on paper are quite interesting, and then you see the larger pieces on wood, similar format, builds up the surface with crayon. And then the collage area. underneath. I like the reflections in the floor. These are all very dark and subtle, and I'm afraid that the photographs that I took and these videos are not going to show them to best advantage. They're really richly surfaced with dark purples, dark reds. They're from a distance, from different angles, look black, or in this case have a kind of like a silvery cast, which is because that's probably graphite in addition to the crayon. I think these are really good pieces to see, especially if you are an artist who is struggling with the whole idea of branding. Oh, I'm worried about branding. Don't worry about stuff like that. You just do what you do. And then you do lots of them. And if that turns into what we call a brand, so be it. Or a style. Or a focus. Love this. I myself am really drawn to complementary contrasts. There's two pieces behind glass. The crayoning is much more evident. Now here's a place I missed before he left the, one of the rectangles out to 
show the history of color choices or maybe where the paper came from. Like here's one. Oh, telephone book. It says telephone. And then as you get into the color, which I can see, I don't know if you can see it with the video. Um, underneath the colors are words and numbers, probably telephone numbers. So there's a definite subtext. From a distance, the show looks really kind of spare, but that's why you have to get up close and investigate not just this work, all work, because you'll be treated to something in addition to what you thought you were going to see. I'm dying to run my hand over these, but I won't. What I'll do is go to my studio and make some work, and I can run my hands all over my own work as much as I want. I've seen photographs of MacArthur working, and he gets very much involved action-wise in the surface. But isn't it interesting that when you see the surface up close, it has a calm quality to it. The constant rubbing and rubbing of the crayon. And who hasn't used crayons? We grow up with crayons. I had to look at those reflections again. And then they become something that we leave behind as we grow up. Maybe there's a lesson here that we don't need to grow up and thus away from our early implements, but they take on a a different, newer meaning as we change and age and mature. Now I should say that in real life this piece looks very red. As I'm looking through the monitor it looks kind of reddish orange. So again, this shows that you have to see work in person. You can't trust the secondary or the tertiary filters that come before you and your perceptions of the work or anything really. What's that old phrase? Um, believe none of what you hear and only half of what you see. Search out the work of MacArthur Binion. Look at it in person. We're very fortunate to have the center galleries here because we have these artists who bring their work for the whole community to see, especially the students that are studying here. Thanks, Mac.